Yeah, Natasha, I know our director, Tom, was saying he tried to bike home yesterday, oh. and he made it some of the way, okay. and then he had to walk. He said he crashed a couple times. Crashed a couple times. Yeah, that snow really piled up quickly. Yeah, it, it really can take you off guard. Not the number of inches, per se, on the ground, but the way in which the snow showed up for us. We're going to get into those details here in just a moment. Want to really bring your attention to not just the snow that we had and how we're going to do a very slow medium thaw. Uh, what's to come? I really want to pay, uh, point your attention to Sunday and Monday of next week. Uh, some of you might be feeling like, okay, I'm having a bit of snow fatigue. I'd rather not talk about it, but we'd rather you know about it, especially coming out of this event. We're forecasting more lower snow levels that could be arriving as soon as we get to Sunday morning. I mean, at this point in time, we're already freezing. We'll see a little bit of a warm up before we get to Sunday and Monday. Uh, but such a short recovery time between storms, and this is going to also play a big effect on our confidence level going into it. Why? Because some forecast models have a really hard time accounting for the snow that's currently on the ground. Of course, Portland not known for being a winter wonderland all the time, certainly not the entire winter long. This is what it looked like last night downtown Portland. Not only did we continue to see snow throughout the day, but we had more of that snow even arrive early this morning. And this is what it also, of course, did to some of those trees. You're going to find a lot of this out and about. Even after a lot of that snow begins to thaw off of those branches, some trees won't be able to handle it. So you're likely going to be running into some broken branches and some down trees. This is what it looks like outside live right now. McMinnville, you finally got your shot at some snow. Most of that coming through from this morning. Portland, again, we're still seeing plenty of snow on the ground on those rooftops and out towards Vancouver. Nice to get some sunshine out there. Uh, but the flip side of getting the sun to melt some of that snow with that higher sun angle is our temperatures and the fact that we're sitting below freezing right now. We have 29 for Portland, 34 Vancouver, and yes, on some of our streets, we'll get a little bit of that melting, but our temperature is not going to be warming up from this point forward. We're going to be getting colder, so whatever has melted temporarily will be freezing again tonight. Trout Dale right now at 28 degrees, Camas just 26. What do we have on radar? Well, we know right around Portland, all blue skies, all looking good. That area of low pressure that brought us rounds and rounds of snow continues to bring rounds and rounds of snow for other parts of the state. Now that it has slid south uh, over the coast range, just south of Salem, you're running into some snow cold enough to see it fall and actually stick in some places. So this counterclockwise motion around this area of low pressure is the reason why we continue to see bands of snow showers wrapping around us throughout the day yesterday. It felt like it just didn't quit until finally we got that area of low pressure to move south. But anytime we get an area of low pressure that comes into the picture, if it does not follow its forecast track to move out in a timely fashion, that's when snow uh, total forecasts change dramatically as we experienced from yesterday. Here's your planner for tomorrow. We're keeping it all sunny and clear, but there is a price to pay. We will still have an east wind present. Wind chill advisory will be in effect until at least noon tomorrow. That may be extended. We'll see. Can we actually achieve temperatures in the mid 30s or upper 30s? Again, I think a lot of these forecast numbers will vary depending on how much snow is presently on the ground in your neighborhood. Wind gust forecast is still going to be windy and cold. That will be the theme at least going into Saturday. Wind mostly out of the east northeast anywhere from about 30 to almost 35 miles per hour and that takes us all the way into tomorrow. Why is it so windy and cold? Well, we still have high pressure off to the east east side of the Cascades. That area of low pressure that was hanging out with us yesterday. It has slid ever so slightly south enough so that we're at least in the clear at this point, but in the very cold, freezing and icy clear. So looking at our future cast, want to talk about that next chance to see our next round of precipitation that shows up for us early Sunday morning. We're still several days out. The timing on this could change quite a bit, but we're cold enough at this point that any moisture that does show up could be showing up again as snow. So looking at that seven day forecast, wind chill is our story going into tomorrow. We're hopefully going to achieve a temperature at least a little bit above freezing. Saturday looking a little bit better, but then bringing in our next round of moisture on Sunday. It could go into a wintry mix or snow or even freezing rain. One of those possibilities as we head into early next week. Maybe we all, if we all hold hands <laughs> and we concentrate we're going to manifest it. We're going to manifest it okay. away. Try.
Sure. Try that. Okay.